Hey there, Broniacs, what's going on? Welcome back to Bronze Over Brains. I'm your man, Bronson Layton, AKA Mr. Awareness, and guys, it is great to see you. If you have seen our last video, uh, the one where I told you uh, we would be uh, meeting some of our Broniacs, well, I wanna say thank you to all our guests who we met and the the festival that we appeared at was amazing. It was so spectacular. I, I just can't tell you guys enough of it. We met dozens of new fans. We handed out those flyers I showed y'all in the last video and we gained so many new followers that I, it's just amazing. Oh, and if any of you are new here to our channel, please show us some support by hitting that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications. We are posting uh, content and representing the neurodiverse community one vlog at a time. But I suppose now we should get into what today's video is and it's a completely serious one. To be honest, Broniacs, I am a little bit nervous right now because I have just finished getting ready uh, to leave the house because today I am officially getting my first COVID-19 vaccine. And I'll explain later on in the video what uh, urged me to go ahead and do this. But my appointment is like in an hour. So let's head over there and I'll tune in with you guys in just a moment. Okay, Broniacs. I just made it to the pharmacy right here uh, where they're going to be giving me this vaccine. I guess there's no other simple way for me to say it except we made it and now there's no turning back. But I'm gonna tell myself, just like I tell you guys all the time, I'm gonna stay brawny. I'm gonna stay strong and just get through this quickly and I'll let you know how it goes. So I got a mask ready and I'm all set, so wish me luck, guys. Well, guys, I'm back. Uh, that wasn't too bad. I was in there for like 20 minutes, and there is our little soldier right there. My arm is going to get a wake-up call tomorrow. So the pharmacist told me that... Uh, my left arm where I got the shot yeah by tomorrow it'll start feeling sore but that's pretty much the worst of the scenario since this is the first shot and I don't think that'll be too bad I've had the flu shot uh, before and I had a sore arm through that so I don't think that'll be a big deal and on another note uh, the pharmacist told me to wait four weeks before getting my second dose. And uh, I have heard people say that the second dose is the most challenging because you experience, say, like fever, chills, something like that. Um, not very pleasant of a situation, but you slowly develop antibodies every day. This is just the general idea. So yeah, I'm glad I got that out of the way. So I'm just gonna drive home and get back with you guys in a second. Glad we got that out of the way. So Broniax, on a, a little update, um, nothing much really happened yesterday after I got home uh, from taking the vaccine. Um, I think the only thing that I felt yesterday was fatigue. I don't know if that was from the shot or if that was just me having a long day, but I will tell you this. I woke up this morning and my arm, the the area where I got the shot, yeah, it's like really sore. My entire upper left arm is uh, really sore. It's like that feeling when you stay asleep on an arm for too long and it lasts throughout the day, 
yeah, that's what it feels like. So, on a bad note, I got work today, and it's a physically demanding one, so if I'm going to be lifting things all day, let's just hope that my arm can hold out on it. So, I'll get back with you later on today and give you another update on how my arm is. Oh, what a shift. I cannot tell you guys how exhausted I am right now. And, well, it's been eight hours I've been at work. And it was a pretty good shift uh, mentally and, quite honestly, physically, too. Um, update on my arm. This morning, I told you, Broniacs, that it felt like a numbness when you sleep on your arm. Well, throughout the day, it kind of transitioned into, like, a sort of bruising on on my arm, just right where the shot was taken. The rest of my arm feels okay. I don't feel anything else. Um, this spot is starting to feel better uh, since this morning, and... I guess that means the vaccine's doing its job, and I'm very thankful for that. This is a process, so it's going to take us some time to get fully vaccinated. I do want to point something out. Uh, yeah, I did tell you guys why I was prompted to go ahead and take the vaccine. Well, here it goes. Uh, long story short, I have throughout last year seen friends and family of mine who have suffered through the coronavirus and some people I know have died from it and it's uh, throughout 2020 it was a lot for me to take in and through the first half of 2021 uh, some people I know have taken this vaccine and I've seen the results of how it has affected them. And so a week ago, I just told my family, enough's enough. I'll do it. I will get the vaccine and see what happens. And so obviously here we are. And, and then I thought to myself, I th think it would be a good idea to record the process, uh, my own process. And tell anyone out there uh, who might feel anxious about getting the vaccine themselves, let me assure you, this video is for you. This video is to reassure you that if you plan on getting the vaccine, you are not alone. Uh, you have a friend right here and many others out there who will tell you the same thing. You're not alone in this. We are going to get fully vaccinated together and I hope everything works out with you. And I also want to point out, this video is not to educate you Broniacs on the coronavirus or to criticize the vaccine or give misinformation about it. Mm -mm. That's not the intention of this video. This is just me sharing my personal experience with getting the vaccine and uh, hopefully helping others who wish to get the vaccine. And so I'm going to close the video here. Uh, I don't have much to say except that in four weeks I will get my second dose and uh, if you guys want me to, I will record uh, my process with the second vaccine. I've heard some people say the second one is a rough ride, but like I mentioned earlier, we are tough. We are going to get through this. And it will be a quick process. So I'm going to stay strong for all of you when the time comes. And we'll just see where the road takes us on this. <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful to any of you Broniacs, both new and old. And once again, if you would like to see more content, please subscribe to Bronze Over Brains here on YouTube. We are posting content as often as we can, and 
um, from that point, I'm gonna close the block. So until next time, Broniacs, this is Bronze Over Brains. I'm Bronson Layton, a.k.a. Mr. Awareness, always reminding you to stay brawny. See you guys later.